The problem is it starts, it becomes tricky because we bring what we want as parents. Because I love this particular indoor game, I want to force them into it. The, the, the flip side is just let them choose what they want to do. So that, and then come along and, and support them. It becomes very easy. And if home is not um, a place where you can be able to do all that because of one reason or the other, there are facilities outside whereby you can go with them and participate in those games together with them. Let them sign up for a class that um, they can learn something and then come and implement. Like a cookery class, they go learn to bake a cake and then come and bake. Because if they learn something and they can't implement it, they get bored. Yes. Uh, can be used as a, a bonding, a bonding, a, a good way of parents bonding with their children. Mm -hmm. Maybe we say this is a good time for now a parent to sit down on the kid, with the kid mm -hmm. and ask question, questions, mm -hmm. deep mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. yeah, discuss, yeah, mm -hmm. they advise them, talk mm -hmm. to them, allow them open up. Mm -hmm. This season can help very well if the parent decides to heal first. Because you, I speak as a life coach, if, a, if you as a, as a parent has refused to heal over your past baggage, trying to bond with your child will not work. Because the moment you open up and you tell your kid, you can be free to ask me anything. They will bring up something that you closed a door long time ago. And instead of being able to open up with them, you get offended and you become angry. You snap on them. And that will be the end of them asking you anything ever in their lives. This is how talking about relationship becomes difficult between parent and child. Because they ask, have you ever had a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. So how was the relationship? A child is one person who is gifted in knowing when you're lying or not. It's like they are mini Holy Spirit. Like, they, can, they can detect. Kama unampanga, they can detect. And you will realize that the next meeting you'll have with them, they will, they will, when you're talking to them and asking them, uh, so can you be able to say, tell me anything? They're like, no, Niko Tusawa, how is your life? It's just fine. Any challenges? No. It's just good. Ni masomo tu. You in a later shade, but um, any other social challenges? No, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just okay. Then they block you out completely because the test that you left with them, it, it scares them and makes them to run away. So for me, before I tell the kids to try and open up to their children, I try to go on the parent's side and tell them, please, can you start dealing with your past, deal with yourself? then leave room for your child to be able to come and explore your world so that they can pick lessons and become better. Because the whole idea of allowing them to open up is for them to learn and for them to become better and not to repeat the mistakes we did. The day I sat down with my kids and narrated to them how I was molested and how I was abused and how my childhood was, they looked at me. And you know, those, that time we, used, we were fighting. We used to fight a lot with my kids. I'm like, don't do this. You, ha you can't do this. Until a day I sat down, I'm like, okay. It will be a, a challenge for me to try and sit and, and, and keep on telling. Because they don't know why it is important for them not to do what I'm trying to tell them not to do. So I sat down one day with them and I, I gave them my life story. Because I had dealt with it, I had healed, and I was ready to share some of the things that I needed to share. And allow them to ask me questions. And, and they, they ask such difficult situations. They ask like, have you ever slept with somebody? If that is an area you have not dealt with as a parent, trust me, helping this child would not be, a, be an easy cause. So sometimes we really want them to be good, but we don't want to be vulnerable with them. 
and show them, yes, I slept with this person or no, I have never slept with, with anybody and this is because, because of A, B, C, D. Or yes, I slept with this person and these were the consequences. This happened. That's why I'm trying to tell you, don't go that direction. If they can't see that you are also an innocent vulnerable girl or boy growing up and you made some mistakes and uh, they they have made mistakes there is room for them to change because now they can see you as a parent you're doing well you are successful and they want to emulate they will not see a reason why they should take a better route because they have not tried it and you are the angel and the saint on the planet who has not done anything wrong and you have never done a challenge because this is how we pose as challenge as parents in school i was the number one imagine this was as you watched to number one school we never failed in school that is how we pose to our children we never fail i have shown my kids my certificate and i tell them you see this e i got my 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 son was asking me the other day by the way what did you get in math i, I was doing some exam yeah sub yeah project management and uh, I can you, 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 you sound like you are really enjoying this. I'm like, yeah, I'm enjoying. So, mm, that makes me curious. What did you get in, in math? What did you get in primary? I, I told them E. I got an E. And he, was, he looked so surprised. So all, it attracted all of them. They came, they're like, mom, you got an E? I said, yeah. I got an E, a strong one, by the way. A strong E, and I'm very proud of that. And it's like, okay, that's primary. How about high school? I said, yeah, I got a very stable E. <laughs> and they looked, they looked at me and they are like, you, you, you didn't hesitate to tell us that. I tell you, this is on my resume. If I take my papers anywhere, they will see I got an E. So why would I play cool with it? And you know why I'm proud of it? It's because of the circumstances that surrounded that E. And I am very happy that at least I got an E. Somebody somewhere in the village didn't even get an opportunity to sit and get that E. And since I know the story behind that E, I carry it with grace and I carry it with pride. That's why I'm not even ashamed to say it here. I am, I am, I am so proud of it and I am so happy about it. I got an, an, an opportunity to do an internship at Eckle of Kenya. And uh, I got an opportunity to sit down with the, um, with the audit, audit um, manager. And um, he, asked me, he asked me, do you think you have a, uh, a dream of being an, an audit? I told him, I asked him, what does it take? Say you have to do accounts. I said, ah, uh, let me do other things. Let me, I would have loved, because it's fun. I went in the field with them. I, I actually enjoyed. But the accounting part... When it came that I have to do CPA, I have to do whatever, because the qualification, they look at what you scored in math. And then my son, my son this, a story, this story, the way I'm giving you, that's how I, I narrated it to my son. And my son was like, um, so you don't feel bad that um, you can't have an opportunity to do CPA or to do something to do with math? I'm like, I don't feel bad because I also came to realize that I'm not very good behind desks. I, am, I, I can do things I can do, whatever, but if that is the qualification, I dealt with myself long time ago that um, my past cannot, I can't feel bad about my past. And I started encouraging my children because they started telling me, oh, you know, there are these kids who say, oh, you know, and now it's discouraging me. I, I was hoping uh, when I grow up, I can do this. Now I feel like uh, my, my friends have started telling me I can't, I can't be able to do that. That's how that story came in. And I started telling them, if you decide you want to do this, don't allow what you have gone through or what your past has served you already, start dictating of how to take the next step. Try to be gracious to yourself and just know that as long as an opportunity has been created for you, turn the tables around and make the best out of it. But don't, don't kill yourself on that. And so that opens up how children can be able to bond with their parents. Wow. Nice one. <laughs> wow. Now, uh, tell us, now that you are a mother of teenagers, how do you manage them now uh, when it comes to the side of maybe relationships? Uh, 
peer pressure. Mm -hmm. and Two people I want to appreciate as I begin this because they helped me early. My best couple. My best couple invited her mother in the house when I had just given up, given birth to my son. My son was um, around three months, three months or six months. Then she invited me over. And um, I went to her house and I found her mother. And she told me, there are things this woman has taught me. I would wish her to pass them to you. She gave us an opportunity. We remained in the sitting room with her mother. And I sat there. And this woman started talking to me. And she told me, she asked me, are you aware this is a man? I said, yes. Are you aware he will be turning 30 soon? I said, yes. Then he asked me, are you ready to handle him when he grows up? I said, uh, now that you have asked, you just made me realize I had never thought of that. I said, before he turns 30, he will become 15. Are you ready to deal? I said, uh, not sure. I'm scared because I've heard it's difficult. And he told me, it's not difficult. We make it difficult. Said, start your relationship with this child now. Become friends now. Right? That moment when she, when she was talking to me, I was a bitter, a bitter woman, remember? I was a very bitter woman. I mean, I was like, in my, she was talking and in my heart, I was like, <laughs> me, relationship with this one. Ah, please. See, I grow too on a song. I've done my part. But when my son turned seven, we didn't have a, a very good relationship. It hit me then that we didn't have a good relationship. So my, my husband traveled to Tanzania for a mission, left me with my son. That time I had a, a daughter also as well. And then uh, I called my son and my son didn't turn up. An hour later he comes, he shows up. Of course I had to call my house girl and just tell her, send her, because I wanted to send him Then he didn't show up. Then I, an hour later he shows up and tells me, uh, how could you do that? I said, nah, the owner of the house is not here, so I didn't see the reason why I should come. And he did it with a, like a dire moment. I have no idea what happened in my system. I was like, are you serious? At what did you say? Yeah, like, like I said, and by the way, mom, you need to know that um, before we closed school, they had just closed school. Before we closed school, they took us through... Um, uh, the children's rights. So I know my rights right now. I said, wow, this is amazing. So I tried to reprimand him, meaning it was not working. He had stood his ground. And according to him, I, I was not an authority in his life. So I should shut up until the father comes up to be able to straighten him. I said, ah, mercy Lord. Ha! I told him, do this. Go in the bedroom and pick what belongs to you and step out. He thought I was joking. I was very serious. He stepped outside. The moment he stepped outside, I, saw, I called my father-in-law and said, I called my father-in-law and told him, uh, this is it. I have chased your grandson, grandson out and your son is not in the house. You told me I should be able to discipline him. He said, you've done well. When is the father coming back? I said, tomorrow I will arrive with him. My father left home. Panda Matatu. Emin arrived in the morning, so when he arrived, he finds um, uh, my husband had also just arrived. So they kind of arrived together. And uh, of course, at some point, uh, this guy, actually my father-in-law arrived, took this, this boy back in. And then uh, now that's when my husband arrived, when we are in and the, my father-in-law is in. So I, I didn't even report to my husband that uh, the boy, it's my father-in-law who was reporting. Kijana alitu sumbua, na tuka minyorosha, na ako sawa. So the thought of my husband thinking that the father had to come because his son was disturbing, put my son in hot soup. Aliingizwa bedroom, na kawwe. I didn't even now punish him. Now the punishment was coming from the father-in-law, my father-in-law and, and, and the father. Akanyoroshwa proper. 
and he was given a lesson. My husband called me with my son and such as to down there and then gave a lecture that I wasn't expecting and told uh, my son, when I am not here, she is in charge. If you want to cross my path, start messing with this woman. Before you were, she was. So stop behaving like now, and my son picked because he had never been beaten like that and he picked it and then while that was happening I noticed because my father-in-law slowly after the punishment he was done with that and then he picked me and he sat me and said now my daughter listen I have sat with this young man and I have realized you don't have a relationship what is the problem you have to create a relationship because uh, this is how wana meanga pembe hivi because have uh, awako karibu na mzazi so i took it upon myself to start listening to this young man to start negotiating with this young man to start just creating a relationship tunaenda kwa duka ilikuanga zile za mama nikuja nawe hapana utanisumbua as in we, i didn't want him anywhere near me at all but now i realize it was not working so when we started creating a rapport with him, then it gave me an opportunity to start understanding him, to start knowing him. And then he started also understanding me. And then we started talking, we started talking. So when he entered teenage, we were so tight, we were so good friends. To an extent, he could come and tell me, yeah, you know, now uh, there's this girl I found and... Uh, this is a 12 year old unamwangalia unataki kushtuka kama mzazi like eh eh you you quickly hide that face like what kagali you're like okay eh eh so umepata girlfriend and you try inside your burning your boiling you're like who introduced you to unataka kumuuliza umetoa hapo namba ya wasiana but then the way you see the way anayongea anayongea with passion it's like I was in my pata home dem kwa estate but I mean west I mean west so you're like you want to ask okay, so how far did this relationship go but then you don't want to pre- preempt everything you nataka iende pole pole and then he opens up and then he talks to you things and you mnaka chini jambia wa if we were not friends this boy would not have told me this then i noticed with the girls one day my girl runs back in the house and a hammer and apata I was cleaning the wall. Oh, mom, mom, come. Come I show you something. So ananipeleka kwa Drisha and shows me another guy kwa estates. Mm-hmm. So nyana chungulia nzamu. You see that guy? And and I'm describe. Oh, you see that guy? Like, yeah. This guy has told me to end up on Yuma so that um, we play a game whereby um, he takes his penis and puts in my vagina. So I told him, I have never heard of this game. Let me go. Let me go and consult. I'll come back. So the, the guy, since they are young, they, you know these ages, you, are, you, you look at this, the entire story, you're laughing as a parent because the boy in his stupidity, he's also standing there <laughs> to wait for the girl to come and consult and then get permission to, <laughs> to go and do whatever he wants to do. So I asked, I asked her, oh, so, anataka kuenda kuiwekea wapi? So I'm like, oh, okay. And do you understand what it, it entails? I said, Missy, you in the man and me kuja ku ni me kuna game kama yo by the way. And I looked at my girl. I was like, wah, so you are naive. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I sat her down. I asked her, have you ever heard of something called sex? I said, yeah, but that's not how Ali describe. I'm like, okay. So yeah, I'm dealing with somebody who does not know what they are they so i told them it's you mwambie ngoje jibu enda umwambie mom amesema haiwezekani leo haitawezekana so akarudi i didn't throw tantrums i didn't i didn't make it look like i came rudisha because i also didn't want my daughter to start having questions in her mind like mona mama mekata so i just wanted it to sound like for now it's not possible today I wanted to leave a room like it is possible another day but not today so that we get an opportunity to sit down with these kids because they sounded so naive and then explain what they are just about to enter into and it gave us that opportunity so when I explain 
to 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 my daughter we had we i began i introduced um night uh, friday night out <laughs> yes so she went back and told Yes, you. she went back. And you peeped through the window. Yes, yes. <laughs> I compared. Make sure the girl is safe. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I was there watching like, enda nam na kungoja, enda umwambie, leo haitawezekana. Tuta akaenda. Akamwambia. Na akarudi. Akamwambia nimemwambia. Nimemwambia. So, ah uh, si si kwenye itawezekana utaniambia alafu nitaenda nimwambie. Nikamwambia yeye. Eh. Siku itawezekana nitamwambia. Na utaenda umwambie alafu to it a to sawa. So she we they parted in a way that uh, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't something a do or die thing because I didn't want my daughter to start thinking like Bona Anakata, okay, what is it exactly? So when she came back in the home, we started that discussion and I introduced uh, the Friday night. So Friday night we sit in the sitting room and we, 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 we pop every corn in, in, in the house. We have those popcorns and we put movie and then we talk about life. So how was this week? So has somebody approached you this week? Like they want to sleep with you or they want to touch you or they want to... I was amazed. Have you ever, have you ever had those conversations? Unaskiza conversation, unaskia kuingia ndani ya blanketi. Unaskia kutoroka kwanza. Uende inje ujipepete, de urudi. They were talking about things in Nigeria, wah. And the way I thought nothing was happening with my with my girls, they tell you, they, ah, yeah, they, this guy. They describe the guy. You're like, they go like, ah, the church. You're like, no, don't even go there. You're making it worse. But now I have to be there and sit and listen, and make sure assure them it is okay to open up with me. It is very safe. Now, parenting teenagers has, has, has not been such chaotic for us by the grace of God. Not because we know how to parent. Mm -mm. No, 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 we don't. But because somebody taught us early that if you begin with these people early, then it becomes safer. Nowadays, if, if anybody approaches them or if they see anything, they will come and say, my son can come and ask, whether how does cigarette test? In a, in a, in, in a, like, at a time to a test to one see in a letter harm. Like, you know, you're like, they want to know, yes, but if I don't answer it properly, it will mess them up. But because we are friends. And we create that friendship in a way that they can come. I have a lot. Unarudi, you have deadlines, you have targets, you have to do what, you have to do this. But because you know, if I don't do this, kita umana. That's how we created a day, <clears throat> like, like we can sit. Now my son doesn't need like a day at his year a whole night. He, he, him, he books appointments, interesting. <laughs> my elder son books appointments, it's like, a, do you have, um, I want to talk to you this week. Find time. I mean, yes, I will create time. And then I give him like, a, Tuesday looks very good. And then we sit down. We will talk through the night. Because we know, I know that if I don't answer his questions, he will mess up. And this is a friendship that I purpose to begin. Not because I'm good than other parents. This is not to victimize anybody or to judge or to make another parent feel less. No, 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 no. I needed something that can work for me. I started looking into it. Considering I had a bitter background, I didn't want my kids growing up in a bitter background. It forced me to work on myself create an, a platform for them to be able to come and we talk together and we interact. And I just become a parent. I wear many titles when I go out. Sometimes I, I, I go with them to some functions and then they're like, wah, mom, now we can breathe, at least we are home. But I, I came to tell them like, um, I created an environment whereby outside I could be this, but when I come back home, I, can, I am the best friend you can ever have. And the same to their father. In fact, they had this issue of like, Usiambia daddy, Usiambia daddy, Akini ime happen, Akini Usiambia daddy. My sons growing up, they were so cheeky, so cheeky. Like estate cases were, zilikuwa random. Like, yani ukiona no kuna jua kai, yu sasa ni mugani. Paka we start asking, okay, so who missed today? Because ni wengi. But that friendship and not judging them and correcting them made them realize that even if they mess outside, they can run home quickly. And not to, you see the way somebody messes up and then they're like, 
Okay, I can't go to my... They go, they, wanaenda kwa anti, anti ndi anakupigia simu. Sema, mtoto wako hapa, na hii na hii imetokea. Sasa, eh, lakini usikasirike. Ndiyo mana amekuja hapa. Na tunataka uweze kumusaidia. We didn't want that scenario. Mtoto wana... E, fire, akifika hivi. Inachomeka mpaka inaungua. So, mtoto wana jaribu ku... Anakimbilia mali, anajua ni sefa. We decided with my husband our home will be the safest place they could ever run to. Even if they do what? And they have done very crazy things. Very, very crazy things. And you know, unakwanza unauliza mungu, ay, Jehovah, nilikosea wapi. But we always opened our doors and our hearts like, no matter how bad it is, we are the only people that even if we decide to beat you, we will beat you out of love. And we will correct you and then embrace you. Hatuta enda zileza, mmm, na vile wanajifanya ni watoto wa pasta. Ha! We created that environment like you can be mtoto wa pastor but wewe pia ni mtoto and you can be mtoto too normal mwenye na akona challenges zake na anapitia and then you sober up and you move on by the grace of God. Wow. You've given me a topic when you next time. Parenting pastors, children. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unjua sasa ukisha ni site mbele ya your viewers. The perfect breed. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. We truly appreciate especially the presence that you've given us the live examples mm-hmm. just from your how to your home. Mm-hmm. We truly appreciate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much Pastor P. Mm-hmm. Uh, even as we wrap up, I would like you to look at that camera and tell any parent out there, mm. look at that camera, mm. yeah. uh, there, yes. uh, anything that you wish to tell them maybe uh, mm. concerning this holiday mm. or even the children. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, one thing I can say is um, for you as a parent, you are the best. You're doing the best that you know how to do. If only you can remove guilt from your parenting, you will be fine. Guilt and pride brings a burden in parenting because what guilt does, you start feeling lesser of a parent. You feel like the other parent is doing better, especially when we go to parenting forums. They are those parents who, when they start talking about how they are parenting their children, you feel like, we were at a baby class, you are parenting. And for some reason, because of the things that are happening to your children, you feel like um, you don't qualify to become the perfect parent. So if you can only do away with guilt, then you can start appreciating your parenting skills. Number two, do away with pride. Because pride makes you feel like, I know better. Auna kitu yenye uneza niambia. But I've come to realize that for us, for us to enjoy our parenting journey as a family, we realize that at the moment you meet another parent, they have something you don't know. Just learn from them, add to your, to your, to your, to your cut and go apply it and, or twitch it or find a way of making it work for you so that you can add to the stock that you have and become a better parent. Don't judge yourself. Ashley. Sometimes things go out of hands. Sometimes things don't go as planned. Don't judge yourself harshly. Find a formula of picking yourself up and standing up and dusting yourself and moving forward as a parent. Love your parent. Love your children. Appreciate them. Your children will never be my children. Your children will never be that neighbor's children. Stop trying to figure out, like, I wish you could just be like so-and-so's children. The moment you start telling your children like that, you have started killing them. Don't go that direction. They are yours, you are theirs. Be a team, move together, and you will enjoy your parenting journey. Thank you so much. God bless you. Wow. 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 Thank you so much, Basi. Uh, my viewers, we have come to the end of the show today. And uh, a big thank you to our guest, uh, Pastor P, Pastor Purity, uh, the life coach. 
And I also would like to appreciate uh, the administration of this place that we have done this show. We are somewhere uh, in Athi River at Pefa Church Gimu. And we truly appreciate the, the administration of this place for giving us a space to do this show. Thank you so much. And if you stay along around this area of uh, Athi River and you're looking for somewhere just to sit and listen uh, the word of God and be taught to sit under the feet of uh, Jesus, you're welcome to this church. It is Pefa Church Gimu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my people. I truly appreciate uh, your comments. I truly appreciate uh, when I see you sharing my videos. I truly appreciate, I truly appreciate. Thank you so much. Enjoy your holidays and may God bless you.